spent all summer in the gym shooting threes. Yeah. 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 Is, is, is there a difference uh, of, as, as a coach, the questions and answers that you get and give uh, as, as opposed to as a player? Yeah, yes and no. I, you know, I, I do think, functionally speaking, uh, when you're representing a team, um, it looks a little different. But if you, like I, as a player, I had the mindset to protect my teammates and to protect my coaches and to protect the organization. That doesn't change now for me. Um, I, I, I do think going into this, um, that there's a sword that needs to be fallen on, I will gladly fall on the sword. Like that's part of the responsibility as a head coach. So. I think the tough questions, uh, the tough answers, like bring them on. It's all good. Mm -hmm. And that's why you can say that you are a basketball sicko <laughs> in, in your staff, right? <laughs> that's, that's kind of the word that we've all loved this summer. Um, I don't know if that entails having fun too, but just like a lighthearted question, what's been the most fun uh, thing for you since becoming the head coach? Um, I would say being on the court. Um, you know, whether that's been individual workouts uh, this fall, our small group workouts this summer. Uh, we had a few guys. Austin came for a couple days in Vegas. Max Christie was there most of summer league. Jalen Huchifino was there with the team. And we were just on the court with those guys. That, that probably has been the most fun. I will say this, though. I want to be clear. Like, you have to enjoy the daily grind of the NBA. It cannot wear on you. And to me, the best teams, there always is a level of joy. The word I used last week was a focused joy. If that means it makes sense. Like, we're serious about the work, we're serious about the details, but we have to enjoy it and we have to enjoy each other along the way. What Funny. is going to be the biggest key, like a non negotiable, yeah. in terms of converting that into wins? Yeah, it, it sounds simple. Um, I would say from a strategic standpoint, it really comes down to the attention to detail. Mm -hmm. And if I pulled up a play right now and we watched it as a group, or if we were doing a teaching install and we were saying to run a specific action, there may be six or seven details in every single action that we are going to emphasize. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I want our team to reflect. I want our team to reflect a team that pays attention to details, that is uber focused on the minutia of the game. Because to me, our group it doesn't have a talent deficit. Our group is very talented. I think we have depth. Um, you know, Rob, Rob talked about this last week. We could always look to, to help the roster in certain areas, but we have a strong group. So really it is about the attention to detail to me. And then the second part of that, that's, that's the strategic part. The other part of that is the mentality. Mm. And, and that goes into the competitive nature uh, finding joy in the moment. Um, we're going to do an exercise tonight um, where we, we talk about our values as a team, and uh, it's going to be fun to do, and then we're going to hold each other accountable to that. I, I do want to yeah, see if you awesome. remember this clip. Speaking of Jackson Hayes, um, this yeah, gonna, moment that you guys shared. It could be oh, yeah, there. He has a follow, <laughs> yeah, a follow yeah, dunk off my miss. Of course you remember right? this. He's a coach. He, <laughs> he said off my miss. But, uh, <laughs> your reaction, though, is... <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I, so I, I love the answer. Uh, you have to be your own coach. You have to be 